Hey everyone, Elisa here, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the one job that can help you get a foot in the door at some of the best tech companies, and that job is customer support. For those of you who are new here, hi, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. In this channel, I provide general career advice, product management advice, as well as just adulting tips and experiences. So if any of that's interesting to you, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. So let's dive in. So although there are many ways to break into tech companies, one of the best ways to do it is to start out in a customer support role. This role gives you a lot of opportunity both within an organization and at other companies as well. So in this video, I wanna cover a few things, starting with first, what customer support does, then I'll go into what types of people do really well in customer support, then we'll move on to talk about how you can get into customer support, and last but not least, we'll talk about how you can make sure that your first customer support role actually leads you to the role you want to be in. First, let's talk about what customer support actually does. Now, odds are if you've used any product or service and you've ever experienced a bug or a damaged product, you've probably talked to someone who's in customer support. The customer support team often fields all sorts of questions from customers and generally helps them find solutions. And if that's not possible, the customer support team then generally escalates the issue internally. Now, at a tech company, customer support agents generally talk to customers through chat widgets, through email, through phone, and sometimes even social media. So there's a lot of customer communication. Now, a day in the life of a support agent can vary day to day, just like with most other roles, but almost always a customer support agent will be interfacing with customers every single day and they will be closing tickets and trying to find resolutions for customer problems. Now customer support also has to engage with a lot of people within an organization as well. It's not just customer communication. If there are significant bugs that are identified by customers, the customer support team often has to escalate those bugs to the product and engineering team so that they can prioritize working on those bugs and ultimately get them fixed. Lastly, customer support teams are often very close, so you'll be interacting a lot with other people within your customer support team. Now let's talk about what types of people do really well in customer support. Yes, it is a great role to get started in, but not everyone can do it. So first things first, you need to be able to keep your cool and always have empathy for customers. Now the people who are chatting or calling in to customer support agents are often really frustrated because they've encountered an issue and maybe they've spent hours trying to fix it and they just can't. So a lot of times customer support agents are talking to people who are really frustrated and sometimes even angry. Support agents also need to have somewhat of a technical aptitude and need to be able to learn tech products really quickly. A lot of times customer support agents are the people who know products best within an organization. So it's important to be able to learn fast and have some technical know-how. Really good support agents also have strong written and verbal communication skills. Now, this is really important because again, you will be speaking with customers all day and you're really that first line of defense for customers. You are the face of a company. So it's important to represent the company in a professional way. Lastly, support agents need to be able to brush off negativity. A lot of times support agents are getting the brunt of customer's anger and frustration and it's really important for customer support agents to not take any of this personally and just be able to brush off all of the negativity that comes their way and not react negatively to customers. Alright, so now let's talk about how you can break into a support role. So the amazing thing about customer support is that you sometimes don't really need to have prior experience to get a customer support role. They're really looking for those raw materials, the technical aptitude, the communication skills, and the ability to have empathy for customers. If you have those raw materials, a lot of times companies will be willing to take you on as a customer support agent, even if you don't have prior experience. So now let's dive into the meat of this video and talk about how you can use customer support as a pathway to other roles within a tech organization. 
Now, a lot of organizations value great support agents a lot. Great support agents are often people who understand the product extremely well, they have really strong empathy for customers, and they are go-getters that are ready to learn. This foundation makes customer support agents great candidates for product management roles, customer success management roles, and even marketing roles. But here's the thing, you don't just magically transition from a support role into other roles within a tech organization. You have to really work at it and you have to be at an organization that supports these types of transfers. So here's what you need to do. Get some customer support interviews and in those interviews, make sure that you mention what your career aspirations are. Then ask if there's potential to move on to other parts of the organization after a set amount of time in customer support. Now, not all organizations are gonna support these types of transfers and that's totally okay. And that's a great thing for you to know during the interview process. However, a lot of organizations are open to helping people make those types of career transitions. So once you get a job at this customer support role, first of all, you need to do a really great job at your role. Organizations are not going to support your transfer if you're not already a great employee. So make sure you're excelling at your current role. Now, once you do that, start to interface with the team that you're really interested in working for. So you can reach out to one or two of the people on that team and maybe ask your manager if it's okay to set up lunch and learns with these people or just recurring one-on-ones with these people on the team that you're interested in joining. This will give you a great opportunity to learn from these people as well as form relationships with them so that they know who you are, trust you, and know that you have the skills and you have what it takes to transition into their team or department. So there you have it. There's a little bit of background on the customer support role in tech companies and a little bit of insight on how you can use that role as a foot in the door for a tech company. I hope this video is helpful for you and that it helps give you an idea of something you can do if you're really struggling to break into the tech world. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you wanna hear more content from me, please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. Thank you so much for listening and I will talk to you next time. Bye friends.